All right, section 8.6, solving rational equations. Here we go. So recall the meaning of solutions to an equation. So at some point in your mathematical career, you learn that a solution um, is more than just um, a few algebraic steps to getting what x equals. If an equation is set equal to 0, then the solutions are the x-intercepts. So if you graph an equation in your graphing calculator and find the x-intercepts, <coughs> excuse me, those are the solutions to uh, the equation. All right, and so that all hinges on that you get it set equal to zero though first. Solutions can also be called zeros or roots or other names. Um, and if you just, for example, if you had this this quadratic right here, y equals x squared minus um, x minus two, you would and you graphed it, you would find that it had solutions at negative two and one. In other words you would see that the graph looks something like this. Whoa! Something like this. Okay. And these would be your solutions. 1 and negative 2. Okay. Let's go on and look at some examples that we'll have to deal with in this section. If I have 3 over 5x equals 2 over x minus 7, this is a situation where I can cross multiply. There's really two situations that we deal with. The first one's cross multiplication. The second one is more, more complex problems. But this one I can cross multiply because I've got an equal sign here. So to do that, I'm going to take 3 and multiply it by x minus 7. I'm going to take 2 and multiply it by 5x. So when I do this, watch what happens. I end up with 3 times x minus 7, i got to have that in parentheses, equal to 2 times 5x. Okay, and then I'll distribute the 3. So 3x minus 21 equals 2 times 5 is 10 equals 10x. And then I'm going to subtract 3x. And then negative 21 equals 7x. And I've run out of space but x equals negative 3 then. And that's it for that type of example. Suppose that we had a situation in which we couldn't cross multiply. So this is the second situation where this is a, a, a very complex expression that I cannot just cross multiply to solve. Well, our technique is going to go back to that first slide where we're going to set this equal to 0 and then look for the solutions. So to set this equal to 0, I'm going to take and move everything on the right to the left hand side so I will subtract 8x squared over x squared minus 9 from both sides and I'm gonna add because this is a minus sign so I'm gonna do the opposite add 4x over x plus 3 to both sides of the equal sign so when everything shakes out and settles down here we have 6 over x minus 3 minus 8x squared over x squared minus 9 plus 4x over x minus x plus 3 all equal to 0. So I took all these two expressions here and I moved them to the left hand side of the equation. Okay, so when I do that I get a set equal to 0 then I put all of this I graph all of this in my graphing calculator, put that all in. And remember, numerator and denominator, top and bottom of the fractions have to be in parentheses. So let's look at what this graph looks like. So this graph looks like um, looks like this. All right, so let's kind of clear this out of here. But this is what the graph looks like. So in your calculator, you're going to look for the zeros. That just means the x-intercepts. So here it's pretty easy. I just click the, the dot and it says 1.5. Um, check your screen there for the instructions on how to do it on your calculator um, but you're gonna go to second calc and then zero and then you're gonna pick a point to the left so some, pick some point to the left of the zero some point to the right of the zero and then take a guess as close to the zero as you can hit enter and it will find the same zero you might want to try that on your calculator just to make sure that that all works and, and that you don't have any questions on that um, but that's literally that's all we're gonna do for these super complex equations get them set equal to zero graph them um, and find the zeros in our calculator. Let's do another example. So this one, same situation. It looks simpler, but I still have the same problem. I still can't get it, uh, I still can't cross multiply because of this one. So what I'm going to do is subtract 3 over, whoops, subtract 3 over x from both sides, minus 3 over x from both sides. 
I'm not going to simplify or combine anything. I'm just going to leave it like this. 1 over 8, 1 minus 8 over x minus 5, and then minus 3 over x, all equal to 0, and put this entire thing in your graphing calculator on the left, and then see what happens. Well, when we do that, whoops, when we do that, we get this graph here in blue. Okay? And now your window is only going to go from about negative 10 to 10. So you might only see this 0 right here, which is 1. Okay? And I guess I should be writing these down. So, so to answer the actual question, this would be x equals x equals 1. All right? But also, if we were to kind of um, zoom out, which you might, might be good to click zoom out once or twice just to make sure you've got the whole picture, we also find another 0 here at 15. So the solution then is x equals 1 and x equals 15. That would be your final answer that you'd write down is those x-intercepts, just the x-values. All right, why don't you try one on your own? Let's go ahead and try the next one. All right, try 5 over x minus 2 equals 7 plus 10 over x minus 2. Now, I'm going to show you the answer, but you should pause here, try it, and then I'll show you the solution. Did you pause? Okay, good. Now let's go see what you got, uh, or let's go see what I got. The first thing that we should have done uh, is subtracted 7 from both sides and subtracted 10 over x minus 2. So I get this 5x over x minus 2 minus 7 minus 10 over x minus 2 equals 0. Okay, put all of this stuff that's over here on the left in your calculator and graph it and then find the x-intercept. So when you do that, you get this graph right here Oh my goodness, it's a horizontal line. All right, so I'm looking for the x-intercepts of this thing, and it looks like there aren't any. There are no x-intercepts. So guess what that means? If it never crosses the x-intercept, x-axis, there is no solution. No solution. If there's no x-intercepts, then there's no solution. Otherwise, you're just looking for the x-intercepts. So two techniques, cross-multiply or graph, um, and that's it for solving rational uh, rational equations